In Creo Parametric 11.0, Generative Design now supports the ability to define a total bearing load force on cylindrical surfaces. In this example, an optimization has successfully completed, but does not provide the necessary loading conditions for the design. To help improve the design, I'll redefine the Generative Design feature and add the new bearing load that is a special purpose load that will approximate the distribution of a force in a particular direction. Through the Loads pull-down menu, I can now select Bearing Load. Selecting a cylindrical surface, I can easily define the type of distribution from parabolic or sinusoidal. Sinusoidal distribution would be preferred for modeling bearing loads with near zero clearance or negligible clearance, whereas parabolic should be used where there is more clearance in the design. The default in generative design is parabolic. However, I'll make the change to use sinusoidal in this example. I can also choose the bearing load spreading. In this case, I'll keep the default at 90 degrees. Finishing entering the loading conditions, I can click OK to create the bearing load. With that set, I can now rerun the optimization to generate the optimal shape with the new bearing load added. Once the optimization is finished, I can perform the reconstruction to yield the rich BREP model based on the optimization results. This enhancement will improve the loading conditions for the optimization to capture the user's design intent. Like with other loads and constraints defined in the optimization, users will be able to leverage the loading condition in downstream simulation operations.